first black person to be arrested for refusing to give up her seat on public transportation in 1944. The late great Rosa Parks' refusal to give up her seat to a white bus passenger came sometime after the same refusal took place from a 15-year-old Claudette Colvin. But was Colvin even the first? Let's take a walk down memory lane with Irene Morgan Cacaldi. I'm sure that name is not familiar to most. Well, it certainly wasn't to us either. But in July 1944, Irene Morgan Kirkcaldy was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white passenger in Virginia. That's right, in 1944. Morgan Kirkcaldy was also convicted and later went on to appeal her conviction by the County Circuit Court through the Virginia Supreme Court and later to the Supreme Court. She went on to receive assistance from NAACP lawyers and from the very well-known Thurgood Marshall. It was then that she received success with the Supreme Court ruling in her favor on June 3, 1946. Well, it's obvious that this was quite some years before the Claudette Colvin and Rosa Parks seat refusal took place. But oddly, who could actually say that they're shocked to find that her ruling was largely ignored in Southern states? And I mean, well, we know why. It wasn't until 2001 that Morgan Cacaldi would receive the Presidential Citizens Medal from then President Bill Clinton. Irene Morgan Cacaldi, we thank you for your walking so that Colvin could run and Parks could sprint. You are a true unsung hero.